It was meant to be Boris's trip to start with. Right. And then I think that the suggestion was that Boris might need a chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> there is some suggestion as well, perhaps, that, that uh, George was also trying to make up for, for previous incidents that had occurred... Last we... year, Ooh. Yes. they met the Dalai Lama. Right. And that upset the Chinese. George and Boris? No, no. David Cameron. Cameron right and, Os and Clegg. Cameron yes. and Clegg. Yes, he took Clegg with him. Cleggy so that... and Camo. They yeah. met. They met. <laughs> they met Lamo. <laughs> he did. <laughs> no, it was very, very embarrassing because um, our prime minister talked to the Dalai Lama about human rights, and they kept saying to Osborne, "Is he going to meet the Dalai Lama again?" And Osborne would go, "No, he's met him." He's met him now. Uh, we don't have to do that again. It's all over. Um, <laughs> so they couldn't get him to admit that one day we may talk about that again. But in the meantime, we're just talking about money. Give us your money, all of it. <laughs> as much as you've got. We don't actually get that much investment, do we, from China? No, not yet. No. Isn't that... Isn't that <laughs> Is we're... that someone in a minicab? <laughs> <laughs> The Chinese secret police are here. There they are. They are here. Even the mentioning studio. the Dalai Lama. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly sorry, funny glasses, you know. Nice. <laughs> well, the Chinese are terrified of the Dalai Lama because he's a threat to their national security. You can tell from this picture how terrifying he is. Look at him. No. <laughs> I mean, striking fear. Into the hearts.